What up, it's Warchief, and today we're going to talk about the Arpeggiator in Ableton Live 9. The Arpeggiator is a really good tool to use, so I'm going to show you how I use it. Like, there's a, a bunch of different ways to use it, but I'll show you the ways I use it. So, let's get started. What I got here first in Serum is just a normal synth. I just put down these chords. They're nothing special, really. Usually when I'm writing music, I'll uh, do like chord structures and then uh, to get a melody, I will put in the arpeggiator to see what kind of uh, like harmonies I get or melodies, I mean melodies I get. So if we turn on the arpeggiator, <coughs> you can see the style. It has a many, many, many different options. Uh, there's up, down, up, down, down, up. I I'll, let, I'll give you a second to read those. You good? All right. Okay. Then the groove, you got straight. Then you got your swings. You can go offset. You can, your transpose, can, you can shift, go to major, minor. Um, the rate. But we'll get into all of this right now. So, okay. Let's press play on this. And <clears throat> let's do... Um, one sixth slow real slow okay so let's listen to it nothing too crazy it's just you can play that on the piano if i knew the notes i can play it uh what is the notes that's super easy okay so let's go up to 112. So it's a little faster. It's going to play. It's in the style. The style means whatever your first note is. The first note on here is E. So it's going to go from E to G. And then that last note is B. So E, G, B. Okay. It's going to go very fast and it's going to go up. So from the E key. So that's how the style up works. Then you'll get the idea down. It's going to start from the key B and go down. My favorite one to use though is, uh, what is it? Random. Because it's, it's just random. And you get, if you just sit there and record and just keep doing it and doing it, you'll get like, you'll get some cool ideas from just doing this. Turn down the rate to one eight. It's not always going to sound great when you do random. It's going to actually suck most of the time. But if you just draw out your MIDI and then record it and just keep recording it, you'll get you'll get some pretty good things going on there. So. Uh, Let's go to the uh, style again. Sorry about that. Okay, that's one way to the, use the arpeggiator. And you can actually record in your uh, arpeggiator from your synth, from your chord. So let's add a uh, audio clip. It's Command T. <laughs> I always forget. It's muscle memory by now. Uh, Command T. Uh, go over here to resampling. We're going to solo that and press the record button, and then we will record in our arpeggiator, the up. It's going to go from E to the B, and it's just going to arpeggiate. So let's see how good it records. Okay, then let's play them together. Okay, let's turn off the uh, chords arpeggiator. Of 
let's turn this sample well what we recorded let's turn it up let's turn it up pretty high let's turn it out to 10 decibels all right so we can hear it And if we put the chords down an octave, gives it a little better feel and sounds a little better. So that's one way I get ideas for uh, to make melodies and harmonies and all that. Because I'll I'll do the chord and then I will just repeat the note like an arpeggiator and then I'll put the arpeggiator on the chords and then I'll use either the uh, random or I'll use the um, coverage or the up and down because if you're just using three notes you will figure out how to play it because you'll hear it you'll you'll just pick it up it, it will come naturally you'll figure out what <clears throat> the arpeggiator is doing and it does help me a lot so does it help you a lot? Let me know in the comments below. It is the drum rack. Everyone by now should know that this works <laughs> because there's, I've seen so many tutorials on uh, YouTube on what we're, we are on right now on YouTube about this uh, trick. So, I will show you again if you have never seen this trick. What you do is you drag out your toms here. These are, I just have random tom drums, but they're not random. I have high, mid, low, and then a floor tom, okay? And then I have the arpeggiator on them. And then you drag out your notes and then we'll listen to them. And then that's just gonna play them in order, like the up. So what you're gonna wanna do is do coverage. you're gonna get random fills so if we do it 112 it's gonna be faster and then it, let's go to random this is the best way to use random actually the best way to use random is for like uh, fills or hi-hat you can do hi-hat patterns in this it's it's really amazing actually Let's turn down the one eights though. And then let's record this in. Remember to go to resampling and then we will record the toms in. You see, you can mess with it while it's recording too. So <laughs> that was crazy. Let's listen, <laughs> let's listen to that again. Uh, did you need to hire that guy to play in a metal band? It's a really good uh, technique to use, and it is. It's kind of crazy that this works so uh i hope you liked this little video um i'm gonna have more videos on the way i've been super busy doing music um i got a new track it just came out i have another track that's gonna come out next month with uh my friend encode he uh kind of runs not equal music if you don't know what not equal music is go to their facebook i'll leave a link below or not yeah their facebook link below um so if you told me if let me know what you thought about this okay let me know if you use arpeggiator and how you use it i just wanted to explain how i use it this is not like a tutorial video on how you should use arpeggiator i just wanted to give you my two cents on the arpeggiator so leave a like if you like this video leave a comment below telling me how you use it because i'd like to know i'd like to know your feedback and the best way to get a hold of me is facebook so if you just go to facebook 
type in at War Chief Cry, you'll find me. And I will see you guys later. And make sure to subscribe. I always forget to say that. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos. All right. Thank you. See ya.